Episode 3, Questions and Answers are based on the Nursery and Grow Out Culture of Snobnose Pompano in Marine Cages manual published by the Southeast Asian Fisheries Development Center. Choose the best answer. Number 1. What materials are inserted in the grow out net to support the frame? A. Avalon cord. B. Nylon twine and PE rope. C. Nylon line and fishing net needle. D. Polynet number 14. What materials are inserted in the grow out net to support the frame? B. Nylon twine and PE rope. Number two, how is the grow out net similar in appearance? A. It resembles a mosquito net. B. It is shaped like a pyramid. C. It is designed as a cube. D. It is round in shape. How is the grow out net similar in appearance? A. It resembles a mosquito net. Number three, what are sinkers installed for in the net? A. To add buoyancy to the net. B. To prevent the net from floating to the surface. C. To widen the opening of the net. D. To prevent biofouling on the net. What are sinkers installed for in the net? C. To widen the opening of the net. Number 4. Why are replacement nets constructed for nursery and grow-out operations? A. To provide a backup in case of excessive biofouling or net damages. B. To create a separate space for biofouling organisms. C. To prevent other fish from entering the net enclosure. D. To facilitate easy cleaning of the nets. Why are replacement nets constructed for nursery and grow-out operations? A. To provide a backup in case of excessive biofouling or net damages. Number 5. How is the net configuration followed to secure the fish stocks in the grow-out net? A. Single net configuration. B. Triple net configuration. C. Double net configuration. D. Quadruple net configuration. How is the net configuration followed to secure the fish stocks in the grow-out net? C. Double net configuration. Number 6. What are the recycled plastic drums used for in the marine cages? A. To provide a habitat for fish. B. To serve as a feeding station. C. To enhance buoyancy and act as flotation devices. D. To anchor the cages to the seabed. What are the recycled plastic drums used for in the marine cages? C. To enhance buoyancy and act as flotation devices. Number 7. How are the plastic drums filled with air to ensure enhanced buoyancy? A. They are filled with water. B. They are sealed with marine adhesive epoxy. C. They are connected to an air pump. D. They are filled with compressed air through a tire valve. How are the plastic drums filled with air to ensure enhanced buoyancy? D. They are filled with compressed air through a tire valve. Number 8. What type of adhesive is used to thoroughly seal the plastic drums after filling them with compressed air? A. Superglue. B. Marine adhesive epoxy. C. Duct tape. D. Silicone sealant. What type of adhesive is used to thoroughly seal the plastic drums after filling them with compressed air? B. Marine Adhesive Epoxy Number 9. What can be used as anchors for the fish cages? A. Recycled plastic drums B. Concrete blocks C. Styrofoam blocks D. Wooden planks What can be used as anchors for the fish cages? B. Concrete blocks Number 10. What water depth to length of rope ratio is recommended for anchoring the fish cages at high water spring tide to provide the cage structure leeway during tidal variations? A. 1 is to 1 
B1 is to 2, C1 is to 3, D1 is to 4. What water depth to length of rope ratio is recommended for anchoring the fish cages at a high water spring tide to provide the, the cage structure leeway during tidal variations? C1 is to 3. Number 11. What body weight or body length is considered for stocking homogeneous pompano fry in the cages? A. 0 0.5 gram body weight or 1 inch body length. B. 1 gram body weight or 1.5 inch body length. C. 2 grams body weight or 2 inch body length. D. 5 grams body weight or 3 inches body length. What body weight or body length is considered for stocking homogeneous pompano fry in the cages? B. 1 gram body weight or 1.5 inch body length. Number 12. How long should animals be unfed prior to packing and transport? A. 12 hours. B. 24 hours. C. 36 hours. D. 48 hours. How long should animals be unfed prior to packing and transport? B. 24 hours. How many correct answers did you get? Comment down below and don't forget to visit the website Southeast Asian Fisheries Development Center and read the manual Nursery and Grow Out Culture of Snubnose Pompano in Marine Cages. If you want more questions from this manual, let me know by liking the video.